The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, Swedish Original, Short Movie Review. Lisbeth Salander is now awaiting trial for the murders of the second movie. And Blomqvist is trying to unravel the conspiracy that has now been introduced. For some reason. This continues to be a gritty, brutal, realistic, mostly realistic, and violent and disturbing with some sexual perversion drama thriller. It again has some elements that keep it from being entirely realistic, but the theme of men hating women and men abusing, men of authority abusing their power to hurt women is still very much explored and we now get a sort of penultimate man who abuses his authority in the psychiatrist character and we he becomes kind of the main antagonist of the entire trilogy and we really want to see him brought down. There is this hearing where it's sort of him versus her and it's one of the best things in this movie. This continues to be a very compelling and intense movie with, you know, you really want to see what happens next. Although not all of the plot in just entirely works. It is parts of it just feel like they couldn't quite think of how to make something work. So they just, you know, didn't really try and yeah. Those things stick out in this. The acting continues to be great. Nomi Rapaci as Salander is just astonishing. Yeah, I suppose that's it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. Please rate and comment. And hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.